Welcome back to Fast Market here on the Schwab Network. It's time for our cash tag segment. For that, let's bring in Andy Swan. He's a co-founder at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Andy. Thank you. All right, so we're talking Dollar Tree discount retailers. You'd expect these stores to be doing well, you know, uh, with uh, pressure on the consumer at this point. This stock's down 15% this year. Do you have the data that kind of backs up the weakness that we're seeing in some of these names? Yeah, the truth is, you know, you would expect stores that are providing this type of value to be doing well. But um, unfortunately for Dollar Tree, um, you know, their, their family dollar stores and Dollar Tree stores are targeting the exact consumer that is struggling the most. Um, you know, whereas Walmart is getting an influx of former Target shoppers, now Dollar Tree Family General may be getting a little bit of the Walmart shopper, but we don't think very much. And we think uh, it looks like overall enthusiasm for these uh, two brands is really, really low. Um, you know, when you look at the um, consumer happiness levels for uh, Dollar Tree's brands, they are near the bottom of the barrel. Um, you know, it's no surprise, should be no surprise that uh, they're going to close nearly a thousand stores, a, a thousand family dollar stores uh, for underperformance. And there's really not much expansion going on in the brands that are doing well. So this is a company that's, you know, on its heels. Uh, when we look at web visits, it's pretty much the same story. You know, they're getting beat by Walmart. They're getting beat by, um, you know, some new online options that offer value to the shopper. And ultimately, I just think this is a company that is, you know, unfortunately in this stage of the economic cycle is targeting the exact wrong consumer, uh, the consumer that is completely pinched in terms of uh, what they're able to spend, that is more likely to steal from the stores. That's been a huge problem at these stores. They're closing nearly all of their self-checkout options because it's been uh, such a problem. And so, you know, this is a very different story than, than what Walmart's going through where, you know, fairly affluent shoppers are looking for value and moving to Walmart. But, uh, you know, what Family Dollar and Dollar Tree uh, target, that, that consumer is really struggling in a big way. They don't have a lot of disposable income. Uh, family, uh, uh, sorry, Dollar Tree does not uh, offer that great experience that people are after in terms of shopping. So they don't have a lot going for them. You can see it in the stock. You can see it in the like folio data. We expect that to continue through the rest of 2024 and perhaps beyond. Yeah, Andy, everything you read about this, you know, they took billions of dollars in charges for this family dollar for closing yeah. 970 stores. Is this, you know, it looks like, it appears, the for the amount that I've read about this company, this family dollar buy purchase was a horrible purchase <laughs> that just hasn't worked out for them, and now they're just trying to put a tourniquet on this trade. There is some activist of, uh, interest, though, in them. So are they closing stores and turning this around and getting this company lean enough? So should you start looking at this like a turnaround story someday? I think someday you, you'll have that opportunity. You know, an activist investor may be able to get in there and uh, and make those changes faster. I think the the bottom line is, you know, use the word tourniquet. I think that's a great way to put it. But unfortunately, I don't see an indication that the bleeding is really slowing down that much. And so that's one thing you want to see, you know, before you give the all clear uh, on a company like this is at least the bleeding slowing down. And we, we just don't see that. We're seeing a company, uh, you know, it's never – a great story when your company's closing stores and closing checkout lines. Uh, it tells us that the consumer demand isn't there. We see further deterioration in the consumer demand and consumer happiness for this company. So overall, it's just, you know, just kind of stay on the sidelines and let's see if they can turn things around. But there's no reason to bet on that before they show some traction. Yeah. And, uh, you know, taking those charges, closing those stores, they're trying to get more efficient. But you've got 16,700 stores across their That's branch. Small. That is ridiculous. And you're seeing it in other parts of retail where Macy's is closing stores and some others. Maybe Kohl's needs to also. But now they're trying to pivot a little bit, Andy. They're trying to get into combo stores, 3 $4, $5 frozen and refrigerated items. Is that 
part of the key maybe to their resurgence or potential resurgence because that's where uh, Walmart's killing it right now is that they they do a lot of the grocery side of the business, which is necessities, right? And Dollar Tree, you would think, is mostly maybe some small discretionary items with small margins. Would that yeah. help also? Yeah, I think so. I think at this point, it's a really good idea for the company to be experimenting with new models. You know, they've got the locations, they've got the employees, they've got the infrastructure to run, uh, you know, a lot of different types of retail operations. Uh, and like you said, they've got so many stores, it seems uh, like a really good use of uh, company funds rather than, you know, chasing what isn't working to try to find something new that does work. We've seen a lot of companies over the years you know, create successful pivots through those types of experiments. And so, you know, I, I do applaud that approach that they are taking. I think it's very much necessary. But again, from an investor point of view, you just like to see something start to work, uh, you know, before you before you throw your money in behind an idea. You know, as an individual investors and not activist investors, you know, we're pretty passive. We have to watch. We have to count on the executive team to do uh, things the right way and to to see success, we can't force that success. And so um, you you want to see that traction uh, before uh, before you start throwing your money into it. And you know, like Folio Data generally is very good at seeing turnaround stories that you know start to bubble up, start to see some stories of some people talking about uh, their improved experience or this amazing experience they had at one of these new uh, brands or experiments a, a company like this runs and we're not seeing that yet so when we do uh, you guys will be the first to know yeah yeah uh, you got an earnings score for this one going into the report Andy yeah it's still you know despite the stock sell-off it's still a little bit of a negative score which is kind of tough to do so we think that the the bar is low but uh, it's it's very likely that Dollar Tree will find a way to get under it all right, great stuff. <laughs> great yeah. stuff. Great it's, data, as it's low, always. Low, but not too low. Yeah, I, I think yeah. your data equates. I'm looking at a two-year chart, and it seems like every uh, third, or, you know, maybe three out of four earnings, this stock just gaps lower post yeah. earnings just because they continue to disappoint. All right, thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that's Andy Swan, co-founder at Likefolio, breaking down the data. I mean, I was looking at this chart, Kevin. I mean, gaps to the downside.